Well, one of the hardest hit segments of the American economy is RVs, motorhomes, and trailers. More than half of all RVs are made in just one county in Indiana. And that county, not surprisingly, has the highest unemployment rate in the state of Indiana. But there is some good news. Production is going up at one iconic company. We're joined now in a Fox Business exclusive by Bob Wheeler. He is the CEO of Airstream. And Dickie Regal, he is the COO of Thor Industries. He is on set. Bob is remote. So, Dickie, you're closer. Since you made the trip, we're going to start with you. Or you're based here in New York anyway, right? Quick walk. All right, quick walk. Um, what's, what's happening uh, with your Airstream division? Are you going to be rehiring some folks? Absolutely. Airstream is uh, indicative, I think, of the overall trend in the RV industry, uh, which is growth and better times ahead. Uh, we're seeing positive indications among consumers at retail and our dealers restocking some depleted inventories. And that all goes well for us. As okay. Factor. Sandra, can, can you pull back in for a second? We need to swap your mic out because Dickie's mic's not working. No, so we're going to. <laughs> Sandra Smith's going to give up her mic. Take him, thank you very much, Sandra. All right, let's go to Bob Wheeler, who is remote. His mic apparently is working. Bob, it's Brian Sullivan. You there? Good morning, Brian. How are you? Hey, listen, uh, well, it's, it's some good news for folks in Indiana. I mean, listen, Airstream, an iconic company, but no matter what your brand image, we know how much RV, trailer, motorhome, et cetera, sales have fallen. Are, are you starting mm -hmm. to see a tick back up in sales? We're really encouraged by what we're seeing in the marketplace, Brian, not just at retail, but particularly at wholesale. Our dealers, after a year and a half of aggressive destocking, clearly feel it's time to reload their lots in anticipation of uh, what we see as an improving market. Yeah, how, how, how is the market improving? I mean, how much is it improving? Well, it's a little hard to gauge. Uh, there's a typically a seasonal downturn this time of year. But uh, just to that point, the fact that our dealers feel it's time to start to reload their lots heading into the slow months gives us a lot of confidence that not just the fourth quarter this year, but certainly 2010 is going to be a, a banner and a year of improved sales for not just for Airstream, but for the industry as a whole. All right, Dickie, we got some of your technical problems solved. I mean, listen, you know, we get the headlines, and I know your earnings were out, and, and sales fell, net income rose, yep. but sales fell. So you're doing a better job managing costs. You know, but the numbers on RV sales were staggering, dropping 40 and 50 percent year over year. The worst, it so sounds like, at least for Airstream, the worst has been passed. Is that your opinion about the whole RV market? We believe the nadir is behind us at this point, and it's, uh, it's better times ahead. Uh, RV industry sales were down over 50% uh, last year, uh, and Thor sales suffered as well. Um, but through cost containment and uh, working hand-in-hand -hand with our suppliers, with our dealers, we've been able to take a lot of the costs out of the industry. And as you can see from our results, Thor has been able to uh, outperform the rest. Yeah, so when you, we talked about this with actually food companies last week, but I'll put the same type of scenario on to you, Dickie, which is that if you've been able to remove a lot of these extra costs and things do get better, as it sounds like you believe they are, will those costs continue to be able to remain at their current levels? In other words, have you permanently increased your gross marginability? We think we've, uh, we've made some great, uh, great strides in our processes. We've made a lot of investments even during the downturn, and uh, particularly at a company like Airstream that has invested in lean manufacturing and business process improvement. Uh, those efforts will allow us to, uh, to, to profit disproportionately to our prior results. And, and Bob, you know, the one thing we heard in your industry is, and maybe you can confirm this with some of the, the dealers, is that people were coming in, they had money, they had access to credit, but they also had unreasonable expectations. I mean, they'd take a $60,000 trailer and bid 10 grand for it, thinking they're just going to get it. Uh, are, are people, are the consumers, the buyers, do they have more realistic expectations now? Yeah, I think uh, a lot of that downward price pressure is starting to normalize. A lot of distressed inventory and, and units sold at auction. A lot of that's being flushed out of the system. So things are starting to return to normal. And a lot of the, the bottom feeders, people expecting extreme fire sale prices, have gone away. And we're starting to see a, a more typical RV customer. So it's coming back a little bit, fair to say. Yeah, we're, we're very happy to say so. Our right, Bob Wheeler, CEO of Airstream Trailers, Dickie Regal, COO of Thor Industries. Your stock is up about 2.5% today yeah, on your numbers. We're, we're, uh, we're pretty pleased with that and look forward to more. And better times ahead. Yes, sir. That's the takeaway. <laughs> yep. Thank you very much, Dickie. Appreciate it. All right. Well, certainly it's also been a busy week for mergers and acquisitions. We're going to try to find out where the next wave of M&A may come.